Hey guys, welcome. It's your girl Crystal Nicole. And so in today's video, I wanted to do my version of a smoky eye. I've never done a smoky eye before, so I was like, you know what? It's fall. Let's, you know, get these looks out. So I went ahead and did a black smoky eye with a pop of glitter and of course a pop of pink just to brighten the look up a bit. I didn't want it too dark, too grunge, or anything like that. So this is the look that I came up with. It was pretty easy, um, not too difficult at all. And most of the products that I use, I do believe are drugstore products. So that's even better. So yeah. So if you wanna see how I created this look, then stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like it at the end. Make sure you hit the notification bell and also share with your friends. Until next time, mwah. bye. Guys, nice. welcome back. It's your girl, Crystal Nicole. And so jumping right into this video, you already know if you are familiar with my channel, I'm using my Black Radiance well corrector. And I'm also priming my face with the Wet n Wild Matte Primer because I do have very oily skin. Moving right into my lids, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee to go ahead and prime my lids for my shadow. And setting that concealer, I'm using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Now I'm going to go in with this NYX Black Bean Pencil and I'm just going to place this on my lids and I know it looks messy right now but we're going to make sure we get all that good stuff blended in using my finger because I feel like with my finger, you know, your fingers are warm so it helps move the product around, you know, where you want it. So I'm just using my finger right now to blend out the eyeshadow on my lid and I'm taking it just a little bit above my crease as well. Hopping to this orange shade, I'm just going to put that right on top of that black shade um, just to kind of blur out the harsh line of that black color, if that makes sense. And I'm just using a little bit and I'm just making sure that I really, really blend that in, that color in. And with this, this eye look that I'm doing, you want to make sure that you're shades are transitioning because if you have any like gaps in between your shadows it will look really really awkward and plus by it being a black smoky eye look yeah you don't want that mm -mm. going in with this deeper orange shade i'm just going to further warm my crease area up and i'm just going to apply that right on top of the first orange shade that i put down because the first orange shade was just a tad bit light so i just wanted this look to have more warmth to it since my eyes will be, my lid actually will be so dark, I wanted to have some warmth. So I just picked up a darker, richer orange shade from the Juvia's Place palette. And now I'm going in with my black shadow from Makeup Geek. This is in the shade Corrupt. I'll have all the products listed down below for you guys. And I'm just packing that, sh that shade on top of the Black Bean NYX pencil that I put down earlier. And I'm just using a flat packer brush to apply this eyeshadow, just in a packing motion. I'm not like swiping it or, you know, sweeping it should I say on my eyelid you as you can see I'm actually just packing this color on because I wanted to sit in a specific spot <laughs> and going back in with that orange shade I'm just going to further blend out some more so that the colors can transition a little bit better and what I did to that eye I'm also doing to this eye as well so it's just going to be like a back and forth type thing of course and I went ahead and picked up my Morphe um, brush. I don't know exactly the number on it as of right now, but I'll list it down for you guys. And it's very clean. <laughs> so it has no previous product or anything on it. And I just took a little bit more of that orange shade and actually just, you know, kind of blended all the colors in together. And it's better when you have a clean brush. Going in with my NYX glitter glue, I'm just going to apply that on my lid as you can see. And I'm using one side of the brush to pack on the glitter shade from JCAT. And I'll list that color down for you guys because right now I have no idea what color that is. I just know it's beautiful. And I'm doing the same thing to my other eye. And what I did is I just flipped that same brush over, picked up some glue, and then picked up some glitter as well. Just flipped the brush over because I didn't have time to wipe it off or anything. And you don't have to, you know, use one side. You know, just use it to your to your benefit, that's all I'm saying. 
and I'm just trying to check it out to make sure everything's in place. And now I'm just going to go in with my CoverGirl foundation. And I kind of sped up through this part of the video being that my makeup foundation routine hasn't really changed. I was just more so focused on the eye look in this video, but I did want to include me doing um, my makeup in the process of me doing my makeup. And I went ahead and put my lashes on off camera and I'm just adding a little bit more concealer because I let that dry. So, and it was not moving, which is a good thing, but I needed it to move for this particular moment. And I had to go in and add some more and I'm just adding it under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead and my chin, all the places that I normally add my concealer. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with my damp beauty blender because using a dry beauty blender does absolutely nothing for my soul yeah so we're just going to make sure that this this um, beauty blender is damp so that my products can you know blend out seamlessly and just to add a touch of brightness I'm going in with my LA girl pro concealer in fawn and I'm just going to kind of brighten up my eyes underneath just a little bit I love the makeup revolution concealer it gives me great coverage but the color is not as bright as I would like it to be. It's more of, of like a everyday type concealer, you know, like going to work or, you know, school or something like that. But I wanted it to be a little bright. So I just went ahead and added some um, fun concealer to that. And now I'm just going in with my Sasha Buttercup and I'm just going to apply that to the areas where I've highlighted. And we all know I do not bake. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and press that in and blend that out as well. And I hadn't used this in forever, so I decided to go ahead and just get that out of my stash. And just so we won't have any flashback, if you want to take pictures, if you're doing a look at night and you're going out or something, and you know you're going to be taking pictures with the flash on, make sure, make sure, make sure that you set your under eye area with a powder that's similar or, you know, very close to your skin tone. And just lightly just place it under the areas where you've um, highlighted under your eyes and, you know, your forehead and everything like that. That way you won't have any flashback because you don't want to have flashback when you're taking pictures is not cute no 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 and now I'm just going to lightly contour um you know where you contour pretty much and I'm just blending that out with a Juvia's Place brush it's a very flat brush and it actually really really works and I've been looking for a brush that'll help blend out my contour a little bit better and this works perfectly and just so that everything blends in I'm just taking my beauty blender that I applied my foundation with with no extra product just whatever's left on that beauty blender and just going in and just blending everything together so you can have a seamless flow in your look and going in with my favorite powder is the NYX um what is it? No filter powder in the shade Deep Golden. And I'm just going in and setting the areas where I've contoured. And this powder, oh, I just love it. Mm-hmm. I do. I do, I do, I do. And taking this Real Techniques brush, I don't know what type of brush this is, but I wanted to try it out in this video to see if I can get like a precise line when I'm contouring my nose. And this brush is awesome for that. Oh my goodness. Like it was precise, very precise. And I took just a little bit of that NYX, um, I'm sorry, that MAC concealer. And I'm using an Essence brush. These brushes are phenomenal. I have another brush as well by Essence. And I'm going to pick up a few more actually. This brush was just like $1.99 from Ulta. And it's amazing. Yep. So I just used that brush to um, start the blending process of that contour. And now I'm just taking my finger and I'm just going in and further blending that contour out. And I'm just taking my e.l.f. contour palette and I'm just going to set that area where I contoured and also blend it out further with my beauty blender. You always want to set cream contour with the powder, okay? And now I'm just going in with my ColourPop eyeshadow. I can't remember the name of this one, but it's a very bright, bright silver um, eyeshadow. And I'm just using that to put in the inner corners of my eyes to give this look a little brightness and a little pop. You know what I'm saying? And as I was looking at this video after I finished, I was like, dang, I could have like um, did my waterline with a nude color. Like that would have really brought this, this eye look out. So if you want to recreate this look, try a nude liner and, you know, see how that looks. I'm pretty sure it'll look bomb though. I'm taking my Juvia's Place highlight and I'm just going to highlight 
all the areas where I normally highlight, of course. Yeah, I don't know what made me highlight my chin, girl. I do not highlight my chin. I was just so into highlighting. I was just highlighting my chin, girl. I don't know. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the tip of my nose and down the bridge of my nose as well. And then I'm just going to use my fan brush to further blend that color, pull that um highlight out so it can all blend a little bit better. And I just sit there. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm just going to darken my mole because it got lost in that full coverage foundation. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to line my lips and go in with this NYX um, lipstick. I had the toughest time with this lipstick, but this is the only color that I had like this. So I had to make it work, but I had the toughest time with this. I did. So this is the finished look, you guys, and I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel, share this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Oh, and thumbs up this video as well. Until next time. Bye.